right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Three years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LaVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Silky. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand or It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice straight punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, 
strong defense here as the hooks of the head is blocked. Under three minutes to go in round one. Put that level jab in his face. Nice kick. Big leg kick land. His hands are down. Let's set up that Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, spinning back fist. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Checks the leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Head kick, that's a miss. Beautiful kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice leg kick land. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Oh, a huge block there. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh! Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice slip and then the counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he connects there with a the punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Can't take many of those. You better check. By that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. That 
right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Able to check that kick as well. Two rounds in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good part. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Oh, big left hand there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Back and forth we go. the right hook. Blocks the shot. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big head kick. Big roundhouse now just misses. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Too. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Put your hands up high. Come on. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big punch land. Ooh. How about that shin? It's not over. It's not over. Real nice body kick land. Left side. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Slips that left hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Beautiful punch. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. the left hand now, unable to connect. Sneaky head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful strike. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. He went high on that one. Score that takedown, man. 30 seconds to go. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Just unable to quite find that range. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Oh, 
huge clock. Shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MF. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Let's go, keep pushing forward. Punch over the top. Throws the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Big power shot there. Over and over, he's landing a big body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stay strong. Still in this fight. Let's go. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Horn sounds. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant.